This is the basic view that you get when you open any Fluidit software. This view consists of different kind of UI components, such as the map view, model browser, properties window, toolbar, top level menu bar. The map view window is the window that you most common work. It shows you all the background layers, the layers on top of that, and all your network components when you start adding them. You can view, move in the map view window by pressing the middle button of the mouse and dragging, or zooming with the scroll button of the mouse to the location of your mouse pointer. The model browser on the left side contains all the drawing states that visualize your components and results, all the background layers that you have added in your project, your scenarios, your digital elevation models, schematics and Python codes. You can use this to browse your different items in the project. When you start a new project, the most important thing is to check your model properties. You can access them by pressing the name of the model on top of the model browser. In the preset model, it's called fluided water model or fluided heat model, depending on the software that you are using. When you click it, the properties window on the right hand side shows the properties of this selected item. This dynamic property window changes its contents depending on the component that you have selected in the software. You can give a name to your project. And an important thing on a new project is to check that the project corresponds to your coordinate reference system that you are using in your location. We support the most common coordinate reference systems and you can start looking your own by typing, for example, the EPSG number. Another important thing is to check your simulation start and end times and your reporting start time. And down on the properties you will find also the units option to select what type of units your model is using. On the properties window, down at the bottom, you will all also see a short description on your selected uh, item and a short description on how to use that. Other things that you will find in the model browser are the background layers. As a standard, when you open the software, you will get OpenStreetMap as a default map layer. You can activate and deactivate map layers by double-clicking their name in the model browser. You can add new maps by right-clicking the background layer's name. All of our software support the basic Bing, Microsoft Maps, as well as the basic OpenStreetMaps. Then you can have VMS or VFS layers that fetch the map layers from your own map tile servers. You can have different type of result layers 
that generate a coloring based to your simulation results. Or you can have different reference layers, for example, DXF layer or any picture layer that has coordinates in it. Let's try to add, for example, Ping Aerial Map. The map tiles are fetched over the internet and stored in temporary files in your computer. So the software fetches the map tiles as per requested when using the software. The UI allows the user to move around even though the map tiles have not yet loaded. On top you can find the toolbar which has the common select and move tools. Then you have adding tools for different components to the model. You have material tool for selecting material for the pipelines. Then you have time tools for moving forward and backwards in the simulation time. And then if you want to record an animation or video out of the simulation. The top level menus you will find the file tool, which has all the basic save, open, export, import tools. Down on the edit you will find all the common edit tools, copy, paste, undo. Under the model you will find all the components of the model and their corresponding lists. Under simulation you will find the functions to simulate the model. Under tools you will find a lot of different tools related to the software that you are using. Under the window section you can find the options to manipulate the layout of your UI. And down on the help you will find the EPA net manual or relevant depending on your your simulation software and you have the link to our support site and about the software for example if you have to discuss with the fluid support.